do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos friends today we are starting a new topic is name of axial force shear force and bending moment diagram in short we can say that x afd sfd and bmd now in this chapter we have to find where the shear force is coming zero or where the shear, where the bending moment is maximum or else in this chapter we have to find the shearing part now i am explaining you what is the shear force and what is the bending moment and the definition of that let's see see this is axial force shear force and bending moment diagram AFD, SFD, and BMD. This is a short form of this chapter: axial force diagram, shear force diagram, and bending moment diagram. Introduction to the AFD, SFD, and BMD. Let's see what is the introduction part over here. Now, take a rod over here. Take one rod over here. Name it as this one is A part, and this one is B part. Apply the load over here. We are applying the load from W, from the top of the beam now while applying the load your beam will try to bend like this your beam will bend try to bend like this okay your beam will be try to bend like this so that in this chapter we will see the shear force now what where the shear force is coming because we are applying load over w so shear will be possible only here only the shear will be coming from here so this is your shear force part this is your sfd and the bending moment part where the beam will be bent while applying the load the certain beam will be bent this is nothing but bending moment as you shown in the diagram this is his bending part and this is shearing part okay now before shearing first the beam will be bent after that this beam will be shear the shear will part will be over here and bending part is nothing but this your elastic curve which is known as elastic curve of the diagram so as you all know the SFD and BMD diagrams. Now let's see the definitions of the both of them. Now, see the definitions. Shear force. What is shear force, friends? It is defined as the algebraic sum of the forces acting either on left hand side or right hand side of the section. Shear force, nothing but it is the. It is defined as the algebraic sum of. Algebraic sum of means all the forces. of acting on either left hand side we are taking we are taking shear force over here suppose a we are taking either left or right the whole part of either left or either right okay right hand side of the section this is nothing but shear force diagram now sorry shear force now what is bending moment it is defined as the algebraic sum of moment of forces acting on the left side or right side of the section this is nothing but we are taking section over a we can take left or right the left part the whole part we have to take after that right we are taking as right take the right part as whole okay after that let's see what is the diagram of that now shear force diagram which is named as sfd now what is sfd it is the graphical representation it is nothing but graphical represented in in diagram we will draw the graphical representation of length of the beam along x axis along x axis shear force about y axis because we are taking load into load we are taking the load about the y axis so it is a algebraic sorry it is the graphical representation of length of the beam along x axis shear force about y axis now fourth one is bending moment diagram which is denoted bmd it is the graphical representation of length of the beam along x axis bending moment about y axis in here there is shear force and here this is bending moment this is the difference of that now in shear force only we have take the loads only take the loads in kilonewtons this unit will be kilonewton in bending moment we are taking loads into that distance that's why this unit will be kilonewton meter moment is nothing but force into perpendicular distance now let's see the one example in this chapter we are seeing the frame part not a beam part but i'm first explaining you for one example over the beam part how will you draw the diagram of sfd and how to draw the diagram of bmd let's see now let's see the the second part will be the sign convention which is very important in this chapter we can follow the sign convention the sign convention for the shear force and what is the sign convention for the shear force 
is like this this is your section see section left part upward goes positive and section left part downward goes negative section right part downward go positive section right part upward go negative as shown in here now sign can mention for the bending moment <coughs> This is your sagging part. See like this. This is your sagging part. See sagging will be like this. Smiley face is nothing but sagging part. Now this one is this will go positive. And this is your hogging part. This will go negative sign. Okay. Now this is hogging. And hogging will be like this. So write it over here. Sagging positive hugging negative now if you follow the this sign conversion this is a section section left up goes this clockwise goes positive sign and right this upward goes positive signs this is not goes upward this is a moment this is a moment force into the distance and this will left will go minus and right down will be go minus now sign convention for the axial force In axial force, the point that we are taking section over here, section left go this direction is positive and goes this direction is negative. Sorry, positive. In section left side, this direction goes negative and this direction goes also negative. Now, let's see the one example of the beam and why we are we are solving the beam first because i'm just explaining you how to draw the sfd and bmd because in this chapter afd sfd and bmd chapters in have in exam you have to solve directly you don't have the time to solve the uh, shear force calculation first we will solve the direct also that i i will explain you the shortcuts of that also but i'm explaining first the beam as an example let's see the what is the example of the beam now this is a your given beam this is 20 kN, this is 20 kN, distance will be 2 meter, 2 meter and 2 meter. SFD and BMD. To draw the SFD and BMD of that part. As you all know, this is a symmetrical part. 20 kN, 20 kN, you can directly solve the reactions VA and VB. But if you, if you don't have, if you don't find directly, you can solve by manually also like this. Taking moment at A equal to 0 clockwise positive and the value will become C this put a rod over here and apply the 22 kN from upward the rod will be go like this so this is clockwise direction 20 into 2 plus 20 into 4 and this will go C this is a rod we are applying VB this will go like this this is anti-clockwise so minus vb into this distance will be 6 is equal to 0 now solve this we get the value of vb will be 20 kilo newton after that after that summation fy equal to 0 this as positive okay this as positive see your vb value will be 20 kilo newton and your va sorry va minus 20 minus 20 plus 20 is equal to 0 you get the value of va will be 20 kilonewton this is also 20 kilo as you all know this is symmetrical see see this is 20 kilo 20 kilo distance 2 2 2 this is symmetrical directly you can apply the formula also wl by 2 wl by 2 okay now
after that after that what we have done the shear force calculation see draw the diagram over here this is only an example in shear force calculation first follow the sign conventions the sign conventions is like this so now what how do we will find first shear force shear force a at left equal to shear force a at left means we are taking section over here just left of a part now we have to see over right or left what we have taken we are taking left part in left part there is no load so that's why the shear force a at left will be zero why zero because in which we are taking section over here and we are seeing the left part only so there is no load over here so this is zero now the second one is shear force a at right now we are taking section over here this this is your section this dot dot light is nothing but this section we are taking okay now we are taking just a of the section just a of the section in right part now how to get the value in taken section over here we can see the only left sorry left part in left part there is only 20 kilo newton so shear force a at right will be 20 kilo newton after that take shear force c at left c at left we are taking section over here and we are seeing the left part only in left part upward goes positive upward goes positive so in this part only 20 kilo newton so this one will also come only 20 kilo newton we can take this part also or this part also we are taking the minimum part because in minimum part we can we get time consuming is not there okay we are taking we are taking section over here and we can see the this part also in this part this will downward go positive this will be positive this will be positive this one will negative so directly 2020 will get cancelled we get the value 20 kilo newton as is here so it's, it's your point of view you can take either left or right answer will be not changed now shear force c at left sorry right this will this is your right part and we are we are seeing over left only left only see this is your 20 kilo newton upward goes positive this is your 20 and this is also minus 20 upward goes positive downward goes negative in this side so this 20 minus 20 we get the value 0 we get the your value here 0 in c part if we are taking this part only this is your this one is positive because it is downward in right side as you are seeing here positive and this one will be negative so this one also will become zero after that shear force c at shear force sorry d at left is equal to d at left we are taking section over here only here only the side will become it will become plus 20 and minus 20 we are seeing this side now because this part is minimum now we are taking downward positive and upward negative this will come zero okay now after that shear force d at right we are taking section over here and we are seeing here this part we are seeing so this one will come this one is downward positive thus this part is upward so minus 20 kilo newton now shear force d at right will be over now this will become minus 20 you can take left or right it's your point of view you can take left or right as you all know this will be done in SOM also and mechanics also shear force d at right now shear force b at left see this is section over here and we are seeing here only see minus 20 kilo newton shear force b at right is equal to 0 kilo newton we are taking section over here and we are seeing here only not here if you are you are seeing left side also that will become zero if you are seeing here also this is no load so zero now now let's draw the diagram first just extend this parts take 
take a beam now see shear force a at left will be 0 we are starting from 0 shear force a at right will be 20 plus 20 plus 20 will become here this is your 20 now shear force c at left will be 20 so this is the point load inclined straight so straight line will be there now shear force c at right will be 0 go here 0 now shear force d will be plus 20 minus 20 is follow will get 0 the d will be also 0 now shear force d at right will be minus 20 so this will be minus 20 minus 20 means downward now shear force b at left will be minus 20 so this will also get minus 20 now this value will be 0 this will go like this okay now this is your sfd part shear force diagram now let's see the how to calculate the bending moment diagram Now bending moment, bending moment calculation, we can follow the this sign convention, this will go positive. Only follow the positive part, after rest part will be negative as you all know. So, we are taking in bending moment, we are taking the bending moment of that point. See, if you are given the A, B, C, D, we are taking the bending moment over the points. A, B, C, D, not just left or just right. Just left, just right, it's come when the couple will be there. But in frames, rarely couple will be come in the exams so we will see the points in the moment as you all know moment is nothing but force into perpendicular distance so let's see bending moment at a is equal to we are taking bending moment over here this point and we are seeing either left or right we are seeing the left part in left part is no load is there so your bending moment at a will be zero okay a unit will be kilo newton per meter because it's forced into perpendicular distance after that bending moment at b is equal to this is your sorry bending moment at c this is your c part na? in c part we are taking the bending moment over c we are taking section over here only okay now we are seeing the left part the left part will is nothing but 20 into this distance this will be go like this see this will be go like this this follow the sagging part means this direction so positive your 20 into this distance will be 2 is nothing but 40 kilo newton meter unit will be kilo newton meter now bending moment at d in d part we have to take section over here we can take either left part or right part we are taking the right part over here because it's minimum load 20 into this distance this will follow this sign convention so this value will be plus 20 into 2 is equal to 40 kilo newton meter okay now bending moment at b is equal to 0 we are taking section over here and this here in right part there is no load so directly you have take the 0 or you can take the left part also okay now how to draw the diagram let's see span over a and b this is your c part this is your d part now bending moment at c will be 40 kilo newton meter 40 will be come over here okay now in bending moment at d will be 40 kilo newton this will also come over here in bending moment diagram if shear force is in straight line in bending moment diagram it will be inclined straight line okay in bending moment which in shear force if I have inclined line in bending moment we have a parabolic curve okay now it will come in the udl part we will explain at the time of explanation of these sums now here this is your a this is your b c this is your d part and this is your b part this is this is your 40 kilo newton meter this is also 40 kilo newton meter this is your positive okay this is your bending moment diagram as i am explaining you this is your shear force diagram and this is your quotient in exam 
we are seeing the frames this is your beam just an example and now we are seeing the frame part this is your sfd diagram now i am just explaining the how to calculate the shear force in exam you have to calculate the direct for the frames because we are taking the three parts in the frames now this is your bending moment diagram thank you